you shared the same publicist with The Rock. Tell about the call you got. Yeah, yeah, this was, this, it was one of the saddest moments of my life. Um, my publicist called me and she was like, hey, uh, uh, Dwayne wants you to remove every picture and video that you've ever taken with him. You guys collaborated. Multiple, like three, four times. What's up, bro? No peak. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, uh, strong grin. Ah, oh, that ain't nothing. I had always considered us pretty friendly. I was A, disappointed um, in myself, right? Because I had let my hero down. And a guy who I respected and emulated a lot. And then B, I, 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 I just wish I would have like gotten a call or something. And I was, I was sad because I, under, I understood, like you sleep in the bed you make. And I understood that I <laughs> up royally. Well, you never, you never stand next to a dead guy? And so it was, a, it was like a double whammy of disappointment in getting that call and, and that being his wish and that I had put myself in a position where um, I, let, I let him down, you know? And he reached out not too long ago. <sighs> yeah. When <laughs> I was in South Africa, this, this monkey took my prime. He's got prime! The monkey has prime! Yo, he took my He's prime! This video went crazy viral. Dwayne sent me a voice memo uh, afterwards, and he, and he was just laughing about the video. He's like, ha, 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 monkey took my prime. That's funny, man. Hope you're doing well. Always wishing you success from a distance. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's just funny how that works. Why didn't you respond? I mean, if we boil it down, Graham, it's because of my ego, bro. It's like. He, he hurt me at a time as a result of my actions. And I, I guess I just, you know what it was? Actually, f that, f that, it's not an ego thing. You know what it was? That was a big moment in my life when I got that call from my publicist. That was the first time I cried, like really cried after Japan. When I realized like, okay, that, holy f I've let everyone down. I've let every single person down, including my hero. Time to fix this. but. I couldn't just forget about that phone call. You know, how, how do you go from, from me being at like the lowest point in my life to, ha ha ha, it's all good. That monkey took your prime video was funny. Yeah, thanks man. Hey, what about when you blacklisted me from your life? I, cu I can't bridge that gap without some sort of conversation that is gonna need to take place in real life. But also, no it doesn't, cause like, D Dwayne doesn't give a fuck about me. He's the biggest movie star in the world. Why, why should he care? I made a mistake and he doesn't want anything to do with me and that's, that's kosher, that's how it's gonna be. But obviously, if he didn't want anything to do with you, now he wouldn't have reached out. Those are the dots I can't connect. Why? And why in that way? I don't know. I don't love talking about it because like, I don't like, like outing him like this. He's a, good, he's a, he's a great guy. Yeah. We're just, and, and he pre prevented his mom from suicide. That's, that's why, by the way, he had a personal experience yeah. that, that, that that video affected him yeah. very different than, you know, the average human. Yeah. And so I get it. I, I, I totally get it. Um, and, and, you know, time heals all wounds. And I'm sure we'll get to a 